at the Sandy Cookies again. Um, I did a review of them a while back. It was on a nice day, and I got a fire going. And I made the comment, you know, these would be nice to uh, try in the rain. I think it, they would work good. Well, I've got a little bit more than what I bargained for. The last couple of days, we've had rain and snow, uh, a little bit of snow, but mainly uh, freezing rain and sleet. Uh, right now, everything is uh, covered in ice, nice and icy. But I'm going to uh, set up a fire lay actually using uh, sticks that I get off the ground that have ice on them. I'm going to set up a sandy cookie and try to see if I can get some water boiling. I would actually try to make a cup of tea, but I just remembered I left my tea bag at home. Sorry right, guys, got everything laid out and I know the first thing you're saying is, oh no, wet, rainy, icy, you've got your tinder laying on the ground, that's exactly what I want. I don't know if you can still see the ice, it's on the uh, pieces. Okay. We got a pine fire sandy cookie here. time I opened it in half, I'm not going to quite open it all the way like I did last time. One, just because of the different weather conditions I'm in. Ah, uh, train right on time. Making his entrance. the cookie. I think that's me. Let me find it. Set that in there. Bust this up a little bit more. Okay. I'm going to lay these just like they are in a big bunch, soaking wet. Ah, hear it? Put the clothes back on. As I said, I let these sit on the ground. You can still see the ice on them. And the 
same with my tenders over here, or my uh, bigger sticks. I picked the bigger sticks up directly off the ground. Some of these were standing, but of course they were covered in ice. These, the first part, the very small ones, I uh, picked up off of standing dead. And the bigger stuff yet, the bigger it goes, it's uh, uh, off the ground. Soaking wet, covered in ice. So. If I was just out camping, I'd let this burn down and I would uh, get some coals going and all that, you know, to get my uh, uh, better fire for cooking and, you know, heating up water. But uh, let's say I was in a survival situation and I needed something, you know, I had my water in my cup with me. I had one of these. As you see, I've got a fire going even though it's icy and rainy. I said I would go ahead and get my cup heating up. move it around a little bit once uh, I think that's going I think I am going to go ahead and move my other stick over there oh. a little dirt in it but it ain't gonna hurt anyone and we'll see if we can get this uh, here. Make sure that I have you in screen there. Yeah. And, uh, Mind you, so far as you've seen, I have just the sandy cookie and some smaller uh, lead size pieces and maybe a couple uh, pencil size. So I'm going to try and see if I can get it heated up with just that without going to any larger of my tenders, my larger fuel I should say. I'd tell you the story about my wife and the Canadian geese, but if she saw this, she may not uh, appreciate it or find it funny. I don't think I've told it before, but while we're waiting for water to boil, I'm going to tell it anyway. We were leaving one morning. Uh, I think we was going to church one Sunday morning, and uh, the field across the street was just covered in Canadian geese. And my wife says, too bad they won't let us shoot them. I said, who won't let us shoot what? She said, the people that own the Canadian geese. I said, the people that own the Canadian geese. She said, yeah, the Canadians. I stopped and thought for a second, you know, trying to... Uh, keep a smile, you know, keep them uh, laughing, but uh, I then went on a rant about the Canadian geese coming down and uh, coming down here and taking the crops from our uh, American geese trying to find uh, food. You know, an American goose, he can't find a uh, good field to eat in. Every time he goes, it's filled with Canadian geese. After about five minutes of that rant, yeah, she about threw me out of the car.
and I was driving. <laughs> so, anyway, I hope hope you found that funny. But uh, I had to explain to her that the uh, Canadians don't own the Canadian geese. Sorry, dear. It's warming up. I said I want to remind you that that sandy cookie is setting on my fire lay of ice covered uh, logs. The tinder that I used was ice covered. And the two little sticks beside it are ice covered, so there's plenty of water in that fire right now. And you can see it still has a nice burn. Let this go for a few minutes and see if I can actually get a uh, boil out of this. No sense uh, sitting and watching water boil. Yeah, for those that may not have seen the Sandy Cookie before, there's a look at the Sandy Cookie. This one's uh, been in my pack, so it's a little smashed up, but uh, still in pretty good condition. That, the other one was about the same condition. Uh, like I said, this was made by a company called Pine Fire, and they're called General Purpose Fire Tender, 100% Southern Fatwood. I'll leave a link uh, to where you can get these, and they are fairly reasonable in price. I mean, really reasonable. Especially considering the uh, amount of burn time and the ease, uh, I'm pretty sure this first uh, couple strikes on that was my fault for not uh, tearing up the cotton quite enough and uh, getting a good uh, strike on it. On the other video that I did, I uh, split the two pieces, laid the two halves open when I was testing the uh, burn and the uh, burn time. And if I remember right, that was just under 20 minutes on that. But uh, I'm going to take a look and see how that looks. Like I said the, right now we have just the uh, sandy cookies, I said with a few smalls. I haven't added anything to it since uh, the original smalls to, to get it going. Or that, w that we first started it with. And the way this is burning, I don't even know that uh, we needed those, but uh, I put them on there just to see how it would do on getting uh, icy tinder going. And I think it would have done just fine if we went ahead and went to the larger tinder. I think it would have done fine in uh, producing a larger fire if that's what was needed. As you can see there, we're getting some nice bubbles going in the bottom of the uh, cup. Not a full boil by any means. And I'm sitting at 18 minutes for the total filming time so far. So that includes some of the beginning besides just the fire. But I think if a person was going to make uh, like a hot cup of coffee or tea, it would almost be, it would probably be hot enough for that. But I actually want to see if I can achieve a boiling fire, or a, boil, a, a pot of boiling water. Sorry about that. I'm going to take and break that sandy cookie up a little bit, if I can. Oops, spill my water. Break it up a little bit. Well, guys, gotta be honest here with you. While I was breaking the sandy cookie apart, I spilled the water. Not all of it, but enough of it. So, I had to put some more water in it, which cooled it down, of course. So, it's reboiling. And I'm not going to labor this video out uh, any longer. To, yeah, we're starting to get a good boil. 
to see if it would be a success getting a full boil, I think we would. We were right at that point before I busted up the cookie. And I think the main thing that I wanted to find out is how well it would start wet and uh, damp tender. And actually I had icy tender, so I think it did pretty good. As you can see, the logs that we used to set up the fire lay are actually starting to catch fire now. So, would the sandy cookie work good in a rainy, icy, snowy situation? I think so.